You're listening to the Dibbly Dobbly Podcast. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and click the bell to make sure you get the latest episodes of the podcast. Be sure to like and share our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and on Instagram. Let's move on to our next topic, Graham. Let's talk about Play Clever, which is the the third pillar of the uh, framework in Mindful Cricket. You say that it's a rallying cry against dumb cricket and it's bringing your cricket smarts to absorb pressure and apply pressure to shape the momentum rather than letting it shape you. Mindful, not mindless. And we see in many games, Graham, that teams play some mindless and dumb cricket and throw away golden opportunities to win games and frustrating fans alike. Mm. Uh, certainly frustrated me whenever Australia plays some <laughs> unsmart <laughs> cricket. I'm throwing things at the TV and saying, what are you doing? Yeah. Why did you play that shot? You were in, you were set, you got a start, and then you just threw it away or you're bowling, you know, two, two legs side, you know, get over and bowl outside off, etc. Um, but you also say that many um, players don't rate the skill of play clever as much as they do as playing a forward defence or working on technique. That's where we go back to what we mentioned earlier about players focusing on the technical side rather than the, the mindful mindset side of cricket. Um, and you say a percentage of cricket training is dumb and mindless. I think that's pretty pretty clear from uh, what you said. Um, but you say we can learn how to play clever and we can teach players how to play smarter cricket. And when teams and players play smart or play clever, the results speak for themselves. You know, yeah. batsmen are playing the situation, bowlers are adjusting their lines and lengths, wicket keepers and fielders are bringing that uh, pressure onto the batsmen um, and causing them to feel under pressure. So. It's very important. Um, you mentioned in the book that the three principles, bat smart, bowl smart, keep and field smart. Graham, how do all of these principles contribute to achieving a play clever mindset? And how important is it for cricketers to incorporate a play clever mindset into their training? I know I'm going to put the pressure back on the coaches again, um, but... Um... The, I suppose, and maybe if I, I've spent more of my career in the corporate area than I have in the sport area, so perhaps if I just sort of relate to that, the, the, the best teams that I see in the corporate world are always the ones who are best at learning. So it's not that they're more motivated, it's not that they necessarily set bigger goals, but their ability to learn fast, their ability to learn from their environments, they they learn from their mistakes, they are very good observers of what's going on in their world and they just continually get better and better and better. So and the, the sort of skill acquisition experts talk about it as the difference between kind of circling on something, which is I want to learn something, so I go out and try and make it work. Yep, yep, I've got it, cool, versus spiralling. It's like, well, I've got it, now how do I get better? Now I've got it, how do I get better? So I think, again, it's the ability of coaches and, and individual players to just recognise that 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 um, tactics are a critical part of the game, um, and that we just debrief that regularly. So the example I used earlier of um, getting batters and bowlers to have a conversation with each other about well, what, what am I doing that's applying pressure to you? What am I doing that's relaxing the pressure? They don't understand. They don't know. Um, you've got bowlers trying to bowl good deliveries, but the batter going actually that's not what's putting pressure on me. It's not being able to score. Um, and, and so on. So I think it's it's um, it, there's not a simple um, I just suddenly can switch that on and I can do it. I think it's more the culture of being really good observers of the, the game. And we talked about Shane Warne and I listened, listened to Shane on commentary. He would be constantly railing on about we're just not playing smart cricket. We're not reading the game. There's, there's momentum here, the shifts in the energy of the game. Why are we not? Why are we not taking advantage of those? So I think it's the it, it's if, if you're fortunate, and I was, I had some very very good senior players that I played with who, when I grew up, they taught me what to look for. They taught me what to look for in a batsman, and then how you bowl to that. You, when you're batting, what to do if you're not scoring, and how to take how to how to deal with that pressure, um, how to read the momentum of a game. So I think it's. Um, um it's learning it's the ability to in in sport in, in business we talk about it as creating a, lo a loop environment rather than a linear environment um linear environment means well i set my plan and then i go out and i do it and then well we'll see what happens later versus 
well, I set my plan and then I I continually is what's working, what's not working. So you're you're looping your way through. Um, you see it in business teams with agility that yeah, the agile teams are incredibly good at learning quickly. So I tip to me, bat bat smart, bowl smart, keep smart, et cetera, is really about learning the game. And you learn that one game at a time, ideally with senior players helping you with that as well. Yeah, a- absolutely. And it's an important skill to to master within the game, uh, to be able to read the game situation, read what a batsman's doing or a bowler, you know, what they're trying to do to get you out or what are they trying to do to get me out as a batsman? So yeah. it's, it's, it's very important. Um, and it's an important skill to learn. Hi, everyone. Hope you enjoyed our cricket discussion with former first-class cricketer and sports psychologist Graham Winter. If you want to improve and get better as a cricketer, I highly recommend reading Graham's book, Mindful Cricket. After reading the book myself, I learnt loads about the mental side of cricket and how by having the right mindset can help you to be the best cricketer you can possibly be. Head over to Mindful Cricket to get a copy of the book. Link to Mindful Cricket website is in the description.